Ukraine has dismissed any peace negotiations that would include ceding territory. President Volodymyr Zelensky says his country has lost too many people to simply give up land to Russia. He was responding to rumors that war fatigue is causing some world leaders to seek a peace settlement that will involve some benefits from Moscow to wind down the war. Mr. Zelensky says there are no such negotiations with international partners, although he admits to some pressure. He says the Ukrainian people are tired of this war and need a result, one that respects their interests. Mr. Zelensky insists a stalemate with Moscow is not an option. Only retaking all of Ukraine would suffice. <laughs> On the ground, the battle for Severodonetsk continues with a poor outlook for Ukrainian forces. Moscow claims to have taken full control of the residential areas, and its forces are estimated to have already taken over most of the city, and heavy street fighting is ongoing. Meanwhile, there is hope that Kiev might restart exports of grain. Turkey is in talks with Russia and Ukraine on opening a safe shipping corridor that would allow food exports. Moscow has blockaded Ukrainian ports since the start of the war. Ankara's defense minister says officials are trying to reach an agreement as soon as possible. Well, Moscow, meantime, says the ports of Bredensk and Mariupol are ready to ship grain. But some challenges remain, including a slew of mines floating off Ukraine's coast. Kiev says it would need six months to clear them, even if Russia's naval blockade were lifted now. It's also currently unclear who would ensure the safety of the export corridor. And for more on this, let's uh, turn to Philip Crowther. He joins us live from Lviv. Um, Philip, how does Ukraine see the Russian defense minister's claim that Severodonetsk is very close to being completely taken? Well, the first thing that Kiev would object to is the language used by the Russian defense minister Shoigu when he says uh, that large parts um, of that area of the Donbass region have been liberated. Of course, this is a sovereign Ukrainian territory that is currently being occupied uh, by Russian forces. Uh, Shoigu in Moscow says that 97 percent of the Luhansk province is now under Russian control. Of course, a relatively large part of that had already been since 2014 controlled by uh, Russian-backed separatists. Now, that 3% that I don't think Ukrainian authorities would oppose to, that it's only 3% that it still has under its control, well, that includes the cities of Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. Uh, Severodonetsk, well, that's where Russia says that uh, it has now control over residential areas and is now fighting to get control of an industrial zone. We heard that also yesterday from local Ukrainian authorities, that they were still defending an industrial zone. So that sounds like uh, a loss of territory for Ukraine right now. Uh, there's been a lot of back and forth over the last few weeks. The other city is Lysychansk. It's right next to uh, Severodonetsk there. Uh, the governor of the province uh, says this, there is a total destruction of the city underway. A reminder that the stated goal, clearly uh, by Russia, at least its most recent goal, is to get complete control over the east of Ukraine, the Donbass region. Now, we heard earlier, you know, Ukrainian President Zelensky saying that a stalemate is not an option. But um, do you think this is where it's all going, that that's where the war might be heading toward? It might be. Uh, Volodymyr Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, uh, was speaking to uh, a conference organized by the Financial Times. And what he did there was again call for uh, Western aid. Now, what he's talking about there uh, is weapons, because here is what Zelensky said there. He says that uh, we are inferior in terms of equipment and therefore uh, we are not capable of advancing. It's still going to take a while, most likely a few weeks before uh, promised uh, advanced rocket systems uh, from the United States or the United Kingdom actually arrive on the front line uh, in the Donbass region. Now, as you mentioned, Zelensky spoke about also what a temporary victory at, last, at least would look like for Ukraine. Uh, that would be getting all the territory back that Ukraine had in 2014. But really what Ukraine wants here is total sovereignty. That means it gets all of the eastern Donbass region back under its control and also gets the Crimea Peninsula back, which was annexed by Russia in 2014. Many thanks for those updates, Philip Crowther in Lviv.